So most days, about probably about 80% of the week, I go out and I'm always in a pair of shoes that are zero drop and nice and spacious. In 2017, I had a long chat with a good friend of mine who lives out in Oman. He basically was talking about a race that he was doing, which basically went on for longer than 25, 26 miles. I quite like the sound of that. So I, um, yeah, I got, uh, got involved. So immediately up the pace, got out, got running, and then only to find continuously my left knee would be, um, would be aching just underneath the patella. After about 90 minutes, it started to hurt. So that's when I did the research, read all the stuff on Google, and bought the books. Chris McDougall, I think it was, born to run. Then I realized that actually maybe the best thing to do is to run zero drop. So after discovering this, uh, this new concept, well, this novel concept to me of zero drop with no difference between the heel and the toe, I suddenly thought, well, maybe this is it. And as it turns out, the other thing I needed was space. Basically, I needed space up front for my toes to be able to move, to splay around. Um, I realized that I'd been constricting my toes in a very hard, sort of neat, tapered, narrow shoe, which is going to cause problems, which did cause problems, Morton's aromas and other issues with, uh, with the foot and foot mobility. Also, those two, two important muscles, the abductor muscles in the foot, get uh, restricted and that can cause issues with the actual arch. But, so yeah, I was on a search, a quest to find a shoe that had uh, more space up front for the old toes to wiggle about. So I realize now I'm looking for a shoe that has less drop and has more space. So that was two things. And what was the other one? Um, midsole. Of course, the third part of the equation is a midsole. I needed to sort of maybe get away from the super high stack shoes, the thick, ulti, you know, the thick outer grips. It's a zero drop, space up front, and I guess more ground feel. So that's when I discovered Ultra. Zero drop, space up front, and good, good ground feel, good cushioning. All three of these, all three elements I was looking for. And I quite like the idea of them being uh, a little bit obscure, quite unique, and quite sort of, I suppose, tailored to um, ultra running. And my first shoe was the Escalante One. A great shoe, uh, really simple, nice stretchy upper, but all of a sudden a whole new cadence, a whole new way of running, uh, much more upright. And uh, yeah, I loved it to pieces, but of course I went hell for leather. I smashed my calf to pieces because I didn't listen to the advice. Um, I should have taken it slowly. Um, I went for a couple of runs and thought it was all right, but it wasn't um, because only a few weeks into it, I'd pulled something up in my gastrocnemius. So then I had to sort of just take a few weeks off, switch things around and just gradually ease back into it. And then I started to learn a few things. So a few tips that I did do was uh, learning to do some towel scrunches. So you're basically scrunching your toes all together. That was one really good exercise that helped. Uh, simply single leg hops. So just hopping on one leg for maybe 10 reps, hopping another leg and just getting used to that flat foot. Uh, and also just um, skipping. So the biggest key to transitioning to zero drop shoes would definitely be patience. Just take your time. There's always tomorrow. Just build it up slowly. So if you are running maybe five, six times a week, just one of those times, just go for a run in the zero drop shoe to start off with. Walk barefoot around the house as much as possible because although it's only minimal, it's only just a few millimeters, maybe five or six millimeters difference uh, over the you know, course of the hour or two of running, the few days of running in the week, over the week, the month, it adds up and just puts that extra stress on the calf that it's just not used to. But once you are there and you're used to it, it's great. And this is when I found out that I could run further without any issues with knee pain on the left knee. For me, this is what has worked and what does work. And potentially, uh, for people out there who do have knee issues or hip issues or, uh, or anything to do with their feet, uh, you know, looking at a shoe that offers more space, more of a sort of anatomical foot-shaped shoe, could help and looking at you with the zero drop could assist in, in you know alleviating any hip knee pain because it did for me it really really did and it has for a few others that i know so basically i'm not saying that this is the best way uh, to run all i'm saying is is what i just said then um it helped me and it might help you if you have any potential hip or knee pain or any issues thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed please do hit that subscribe button down below and also hit the uh, notification button thanks very much take care